So I'm here with a man who obviously needs no introduction whatsoever. It's the man himself, Robbie Williams' dad, Pete Cumbie. Pete, thank you very much for joining So good to be here. So good to be anywhere at my age. <laughs> a joke straight away. You're, <laughs> you're treating us already. Thank you. <laughs> so obviously, you, you must have had a lot of time to go around this exhibition and that's downstairs. Yeah. What does it mean to you as this kid's yeah. dad, who has made an absolute amazing effort of his life. He's probably one of the most famous people from the UK. Yes. How does it feel to be like, oh, that's my boy, that's my boy? It is quite amazing, you know. Looking around the art gallery today at all the paintings, I was amazed, first of all, how many there were. And I think the artist uh, is a great artist, and she's got so many expressions from one place. That is quite something. And we talked about this a long time ago, so there's so many people to thank for the fact that we're here looking at it. Um, first of all, the artist herself, who is a great artist, uh, as we can well see by the exhibition. A uh, big thank you to the fans whose idea it was in the first place to put it all together. The fact that it got here at all from Milan through uh, FedEx is a big thank to them. And of course, the Don Luis Trust, which is, uh, will be the, the, out the reason all of this is happening. Uh, hopefully, and um, they will make um, they will make, make it, it'll be a big deal for them as well. It's it's amazing that obviously charity is benef 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 Let me get my words out. Benefiting from this as well, um, which again makes it that little bit more special. It's this lad from Stoke. He's helping local charities. It's just. It's amazing, and I genuinely, when I'm thinking about it, I, I, I grew up basically following Robbie Williams' career. I wanted to be Robbie Williams. I took up <laughs> the arts to be Robbie Williams, and people oh. will obviously come to this and will be like, will look at the pictures and think, that's where I started following him. Do you yeah. look at every single one of the pictures downstairs and remember the point in your head going, oh, Rob, what were you doing with, with that haircut, or what were you doing there? Uh, yeah, he went through a few strange haircuts, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the great parts of his life, and it's, uh, it, it's a chronicle of, of all those times in his life, which is wonderful. And uh, great for me to have a look at them. Uh, very proud, of course, um, that, that he's done so well. And uh, I just hope everybody appreciates the artist who was... Yeah, the art was absolutely amazing. And speaking of that, coming back to the art, do you have a specific favourite that jumps out at you and goes, and you, and you go, that's, that's amazing? Like the way that the, 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 the moment in time has been captured, obviously not from a picture, but pencil drawing or paint, it's just absolutely amazing. Do you have a specific favourite pushing uh, you here? Yeah, that's a good one, lad. Uh, there's one I took a photograph, and it's, on, it's upstairs, because there's two levels. So that, yeah. In fact, I will tell you, I sat downstairs, had a look at them, I thought it was absolutely great, and I thought, well, this is good, and then I sat down and looked upstairs, and there's some more, I didn't even realise they were there, so it was a long time. <laughs> But well, there's one of them uh, I think is punching forward, and that, I think that captures that. That is Robin. It's a, it's a great one. And uh, looking at the paintings, uh, it's uh, taken me back to the very first time I saw his image, uh, as big as these are. And a uh, nice little story. I was in New York in 1994, uh, 1992, and uh, I walked past a record shop, and in the window, in a huge big window, there was a, just a single picture of Rob in the window looking out onto the street. Not the other four lads, just him on his own. And I've never seen that before. Can you imagine? The, I mean, I see a lot of them now. But that was the first time I ever saw his image in a, in a big, big, yeah. big, big painted, big, it was a big picture, a photograph. And uh, that took me by surprise. And that was 1990, probably 1993, two or three. And uh, I've got used to it now. <laughs> so, so I think it has got easier over the years, so you're going, well, that's, 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 that's my son, a bit bored over there. What's that all about? Yeah. So now it's just going, oh, it's just Rob again. Yeah. He's, he's, got another, he's got another CD out of Rob in yeah. his face all over the place. So it, just, it does get easier. I still have to pinch myself. <laughs> I'm still most aware that he's my lad. But I am so proud of him, of course I am. And it shows as well. Yeah. When I was watching, yeah. I was, without sounding weird, I was watching you looking at all the pictures. And yeah. Just to watch. You, as his dad, looking at all of these pictures, and you're just like, it, it's it's just heartwarming. It really yeah. is. It's absolutely amazing. Now you, you, you we, we we did speak a bit before about some of the stories you got with Rob. Is there any you can you can tell us any 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 good stories of Rob growing up 
that, that we might not know already. I think most of them have been well, well written about along the way. Uh, there's nothing really yet to say that uh, you don't know already. <laughs> he's just happy growing up. He, he's grown up now. Um, he's, uh, he's 40 next week. Uh, he's a dad. And um, look, Teddy is growing up quicker every day. And um, he's a very mature young man now. And I have told him my motto in life, uh, don't grow up, it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> and he definitely hasn't. <laughs> after, after his last show, isn't it the Palladium with the Muppets? I think that was just Rob all in one. And you obviously you, you managed to perform with as well. Which what what's what's that? What does it feel like to step on stage with with your son and he's just looking in your eyes with, with all the love in the world? How good was that? The Palladium, the London Palladium. I was uh, quite knocked out by the whole thing. Didn't know until the night before, so I was going to <laughs> see the show. He rang me on the Thursday and said, do you want to do the show in the second half? And uh, I said, yes, of course. And a very, just a feeling of walking onto the plane. Took me 47 years to get there from when I started <laughs> as a pro. And uh, yes, it was quite a tremendous feeling just to be on. I've, I've done a lot of theatres, but this is the Palladium. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, it's a, a great, for, for an entertainer, that's, that's what you want to say on your CV. I've done the Palladium. The pinnacle, the pinnacle of entertainment. I've done the Thank you very much for joining me. And yes. I, even when the camera's stopped rolling, I'll be asking more. Uh, uh, it's absolutely Seriously, great. Seriously, it's been amazing talking to you and amazing obviously watching and seeing all these pictures of Rob as well. Such a pleasure. Thank you very much.